Okay, direct proportion, I want you to write down. Okay, direct proportion means if x increase, y will also increase. Okay, it is given that y is directly proportional to x. Okay, so the first thing is once you see this word directly proportional, right? Okay, you have to write this. Y is equals to kx, where k is a constant. Write this down. Okay, your job is always to find the x first. Okay, so when y is equals to 20 and x is equals to 12, so we write 20 is equals to k bracket 12, k is equals to 20 over 12, which is equals to 5 over 3. Alright, but k is never your answer. Now we put back the k. So for a, y is equals to 5 over 3x. Because my k is 5 over 3, so this is the 5 over 3 law, so the r I put in. So this is the equation connecting x and y. Okay, so for b, find the value of y when x is equals to, so now you put in, when x is equals to 30, y is equals to 5 over 3 bracket 30. Okay, this is equals to 50. Yeah. So for c, when y equals to 86, 86 is equals to 5 over 3 x. Okay, x is equals to 86 divided by 5 over 3. And then you get your answer, which is 51 3 over. Okay, so direct proportion, very straightforward. Okay, next one. So it is given that y is proportional to x square. Or what should you write? y is equals to kx square because it's proportional to x square. Must always say that k is a constant. Okay. Now, first, they tell you that y is equals to 36 and this one is equals to 3. What do you think they tell you this for? So that you can find what? Find who? Always to find k. 36 is equals to k bracket 3 square. Okay, so k is equals to 36 divided by 9, which is equals to 4. Okay, so therefore, your, this is your a part 1. y is equals to, put in the, okay, put it back into him. Okay, yeah, that's all. Alright, so for part 2, when x is equals to 5, y is equals to 4 bracket 5 square. Okay, and that is equals to 100. Okay, next one, part 3. When y is equals to 196, this means that 196 is equals to 4x square. x square equals to 196 divided by 4. Okay, which is equals to 49. So x is equals to, remember when you square root, you need to have plus minus, huh? which is equals to 7 or negative 7. This one you reject. Why? Because they say that x must be greater than 0. Pay attention to b. b, this is called, write down, the graph of direct proportion. The graph of direct proportion is always a, so because you see y is directly proportional to x squared. This guy is not your usual x, this guy is x squared, this guy is y, because y is directly proportional to x squared. Then the graph will look like, straight line, uh, it's a straight line, okay? So this is the direct proportional graph, that means if y is directly proportional to x squared, you look at your x-axis, it must be x squared, uh, it must be the variable that y is directly proportional to. Okay? But for c, uh, it's very tricky. We know that y is equal to 4x squared. 4x squared, what shape does the graph look like? It's a U-shape, huh? okay? Because the, it's 4, my 4. When you're positive, you smile, okay? So when it's an x squared, uh, you look at, look at the 4. It's a positive, so you smile. So it's a U-shape graph, okay? But we start from 0 only, so that's why the... By right, the graph is look like here. So x squared is a u-shape like that. But for proportion now, we only want the positive part. So that's why we only take this. Okay.
Okay, so this is if you are told to draw y against x. Because y is not directly proportional to x. y is directly proportional to x squared. So when you have the x squared, it's directly proportional to then it's going up. But if you're drawing y against x, right, uh, this is an advanced question. Uh. Okay, so you have to think, oh, 4x squared is a u-shape. I have to draw a u-shape graph, but I only start from zero. Yeah, understand the difference between these two? So the graph of direct proportion is always a straight line that is going up. That means, for example, if let's say y equals to k uh, x to the power of 3, right? The y-axis is y. The x-axis is x to the power of 3. Then it will still be going up like that. Understand? Okay, it depends on this one. So if I change this to, let's say, square root b, then my y-axis here must change. This one to become square root b. And then it will still always be going up. Okay, it's a straight line going up, a uh, straight line. 